to unlock potential. Let's start with government data. Barack Obama said in a speech that he, well, the American government data would be available on, on the internet in accessible formats. And I hope that they will put it up as linked data. That's important. Why is it important? Not just for transparency. Yeah, transparency of government is important. But that data, this is the data from all the government departments. Think about how much of that data is about how life is lived in America. It's actually useful. It's got value. I can use it in my company. I could use it as a kid to do my homework. So we're talking about making the place, making the world run better by making this data available. In fact, if you're responsible, if you know about some data in government department, often you find that these people, they're very tempted to keep it, to uh, Hans calls it database hugging. You, you, you hug your database, you don't want to let it go until you've made a beautiful website for it. Well, I'd like to suggest that rather before you, yes, make a beautiful website. Who am I to say don't make a beautiful website? Make a beautiful website, but first, Give us the unadulterated data. We want the data. We want unadulterated data. OK, we have to ask for raw data now. And I'm going to ask you to practice that, OK? Can you say raw? raw. raw. Can you say data? data? Can you say now? Data. Right. Raw data now. Raw. raw. Practice that. It's important because you have no idea the number of excuses people come up with to hang on to their data and not give it to you, even though you've paid for it as a taxpayer. And it's not just America. It's all over the world. And it's not just governments. Of course, it's enterprises as well. So I'm just going to mention a few other sorts of data. We're here we are at TED, and all the time, we are very conscious of the huge challenges which the human society has right now. Curing cancer. Understanding the brain for Alzheimer's, understanding the economy to make it a little bit more stable, understanding how the world works. The people who are going to solve those are scientists. They have half-formed ideas in their head. They try to communicate those over the web. But a lot of the state of knowledge of the human race at the moment is on databases, often sitting in their computers, and actually currently not shared. In fact, I'll just go into one area. If you're looking at Alzheimer's, for example, drug discovery, there is a whole lot of linked data which is just coming out because scientists in that field realize this is a great way of getting out of those silos because they had their genomics data in one database and in one building, and they had their protein data in another. Now they are sticking it onto linked data, and now they can ask a question sort of question that you probably wouldn't ask, I wouldn't ask, they would. What proteins are involved in signal transduction and also related to pyramidal neurons? Well, you take that mouthful and if you put it into Google, of course, there's no page on the web which has answered that question because nobody has asked that question before. You get 223,000 hits, no results you can use. You ask the linked data which they've now put together, 32 hits, each of which is a protein which has those properties. And you can look at the power of being able to ask those questions of a scientist. Questions which actually bridge across different disciplines is really a complete sea change. It's very, very important. Scientists are totally stymied at the moment. The power of the data that other scientists have collected is locked up, and we need to get it unlocked so we can tackle those huge problems. Now, if I go on like this, you'll think that all the data comes from huge institutions, um, and it's nothing to do with you. But that's not true. In fact, Data is about our lives. You just you log on to your social networking site, you pick your favorite one, you say, this is my friend, bing, relationship, data. You say, this photograph, oh, it's about, it, it depicts this person, bing, that's data. Data, data, data. Every time you do things in the social networking site, the social networking site is taking data and using it, repurposing it, and using it to make other people's lives more interesting on the site. But when you go to another linked data site and you say, this is one about travel, and you say, I want to send this photo to all the people in that group, you can't get over the walls. The Economist wrote an article about it. Uh, lots of people have blogged about it. Tremendous frustration, the way to break down the silos, to get interoperability between social networking sites. We need to do that with linked data. One last type of data I'll talk about, maybe it's the most exciting. For came down here, I looked up on the OpenStreetMap. OpenStreetMap's a map, but it's also a wiki. Zoom in, and that square thing is the theater which we're in right now, the Terrace Theater. I didn't have a name on it. So I could go into edit mode, I could select the theater, I could add on down the bottom the name, and then I could save it back. And now if you go back to the OpenStreetMap.org and you find this place, you will find that the Terrace Theater has got a name. I did that. Me. <laughs> I did that. It's the map. I just did that. I put that up on there. Hey, you know what? If I, it's all the, the street map is all about everybody doing their bit 
and this is, it creates an incredible resource because everybody else does theirs. And that is what linked data is all about. It's about people doing their bit to produce a little bit, and it all connecting. That's how linked data works. But you do your bit, everybody else does theirs. You may not have lots of data which you have to yourself to put on there, but you know to demand it. And we've practiced that. So linked data is um, it's huge. I've only told you a very small number of things. There are data in every aspect of our lives, every aspect of work and pleasure. Okay? And it's not just about the number of places where data comes. It's about connecting it together. And when you connect data together, you get power in a way that doesn't happen just with the web, with documents. You get this really huge power out of it. So we're at the stage now where we have to do this. Those the people who think it's a great idea, and all the people, and I think there are a lot of people at TED, who do things, because even though there's not an immediate return on investment, you have because it'll only really pay off when everybody else has done it, they'll do it because they're the sort of person who just does things which would be good if everybody else did them. OK, so it's called linked data. I want you to make it. I want you to demand it. And I think it's an idea worth spreading. Thanks. <laughs>